Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from AzureAutomation.com and welcome to another video from Azure Automation on Test Project. And in this video, I'll be talking about how we can run the JavaScript based open SDK test of test project using Mocha Test Runner. In our last video, we discussed how we can actually create a simple JavaScript based test using Selenium IDE and use the exact same code, but just that running with the test project's open SDK, as you can see over here. That was super simple, right? We just copy pasted the code which was generated and it was just working fine without any problem. And we used the async method to run the test using Node and everything was working as expected. But now we are gonna do it a bit different. Rather running the test on the async method, we are gonna be using the Mocha test runner to run the test for us. So all I'm gonna do is I need to first install the Mocha package over here and then I'm just gonna type Mocha and the Mocha version, I guess the latest version is nine. All right, which is coming up. And then I'm just going to get my terminal and do the NPM install. And I also forgot to install the typings of the um, Mocha so that I get the nice intelligence. And let's do an NPM install again. And now we need to add the Mocha based test over here. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna call this as probably first mocha test.js. I'm just going to pretty much copy some of the code from here, like these. I'm gonna paste it over here. And I'm gonna start typing this. Describe, and you can see that this is coming from the mocha for us. And you can see that it's automatically writing things for me. And again, these are all coming from the GitHub's copilot. And I'm just gonna say async. So this is the async function over here. And I'm just gonna leave this guy as it is. And I'm gonna say let driver, because I want to write a web driver based code over here. And I'm gonna call the before each of an async function. So you can see these things that are automatically coming. And this is what I'm expecting for as well. So I think the GitHub Copilot knows what I'm going to be doing basically. So it's coming up for me automatically. I'm just gonna do an it, uh, and I'm gonna be writing something like should perform simple operations. And now the code which I'm gonna be copy pasting is gonna be pretty much exactly the same from here. So you can see that now we have a describe block, probably the describe block I'm gonna give perform simple EA test and it's gonna be the simple operation test. That's our test overall. So this is something that you could able to do using Mocha and the code looks more refined and organized this time. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to open the terminal uh, Mocha, which is gonna be sitting on my node modules of Mocha bin slash Mocha which is going to be this one. And then I'm going to call the first mocha test.js. And then I'm going to specify a timeout of probably 10,000 because if not, the test is going to fail. And you can see that the test is going to fail because there is no uh, dev token, which is something I need to give because this is automatically generated by uh, the GitHub Copilot. So I'm going to go to the integration over here. I'm going to copy this token, I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna say builder dot with token of this one. I'm gonna save this. And now if I try running the test, you can see that it is gonna open the perform simple EA test and it is starting to run the test for us. And while this is happening, if we go to the test project over here and if we go to the monitor this time, and once you go to the report over here, it's gonna show you the perform simple test. And this is actually coming from the test which we have executed over here. And it also gets the name basically from the test that we have actually given over here. So you can see that the test has got successfully completed. And if you see over here, the test is coming, it's getting the name from the perform simple EA test from here. So this is how we could see that we get that particular name 
as well as the test execution for us, which is pretty cool. I mean, you get the name as well this time instead of not getting any name while we tried executing the first test last time. Because if you remember the first test while we were executing in our last video, we get something like an unnamed job there which was not the correct way of doing it. But this time it is getting it correctly because we have this describe to have a name in it. So that's it guys, this is how we could able to run the test even in Mocha framework in test projects, JavaScript OpenSDK. So that's it guys, once again, thank you very much for watching this video and you guys have a great day.